the me has a story. The me sense also is capable of observing, but the difference is that it observes with self-interest. What would benefit me is self-interest. But it's also acting as observer, but it's very much a condition and limited observing field. When that is recognized, that that observer is not pure, it possesses some quality, so it has limitation. When that is recognized, the observing itself becomes more impersonal, not personal, universal, empty, because the the ego observer is combed out, and now only pure observing is remaining, and it observes impartially. It perceives impartially. It perceives without intention, without desire. When it looks and experiences through the senses, the senses themselves are silent, and there is no struggle. When the me comes into focus, there is struggle because there is intention, there is judgment, there is preferences. I want to go here. I want to go here. It is the me who calls itself a Hindu or Muslim or Christian. Atheist. These are just ideas arising in the me, who itself is a concept. And what perceives this concept? That is perceived in that intuition, the sense I am. I am perceived. I don't know how these words are sitting inside your heart right now. It doesn't matter. You don't have to listen with your head. And. The heart makes no effort to understand. Understanding just occurs by itself. Some things are spoken, and they are effectively like a slow-release tablet. Maybe when you're walking down the road, it's already spoken. It's done. Why? Why would it bother? Because your existence itself is shaped in love, and it is not happy to feel bound. It's not happy to feel bound. Because bondage is not original to you. Before any concepts came, you were, and you are. And even now, while these concepts are dancing, you are. And when these concepts they also subside, you are. When you identify with the concepts, you take the the fragrance of the concept, and you believe it into existence, and then that becomes your experience. You are none of them. You are none of that, and you are not the one who is affected by it. Either. But you have to see this. See? Here you have to see it. that the feeling that the mind is troubling you is itself a thought, believed and experienced as actuality. But it is only a thought. Nothing is touching you. 